In good health, can you remember the days when doctors made house calls? If not, you've got plenty of company, but the old-fashioned house call may be making a comeback. How about that? Our Dr. Frank McGeorge here introduces us to a local doctor who thinks it's an idea whose time has come again. Well, Carmen and Devin, you know, we first heard about this doctor from a member of our own Local 4 family. It's basically an old idea with a new twist. Visit some of the most vulnerable patients at home to reduce their exposure to germs and get them off to the best possible start. Dr. Kim Coleman has a busy practice at pediatric specialists in Bloomfield Hills, but when this part of her day is done, this pediatrician hits the road. That's right, this doctor makes house calls or home visits as she likes to call them. How are you? Her patient today, the newest addition to the family of our own Kim Adams. When she first offered a home visit, I, I was like, are, are you serious? Because I remember it's like a throwback to when my parents were growing up and doctors made home visits, but you wouldn't think today that they would go out of their way to come to your house. Right now, all of the new babies that are born, we're trying to offer a home visit, either for the initial visit or for a subsequent follow-up visit, at least once. Dr. Coleman carefully checks over baby Alex, monitoring his weight, length, and the circumference of his head. She also checks for any signs of jaundice and finds out how the baby is eating, sleeping, and how the parents are adjusting. Okay, well, you look great. Kim says for new moms especially, the idea is incredible. After my daughter, my first, I remember that first trip to the doctor's office, and it was horrible because she was so tiny, we hadn't slept all night long and here we are loading her up it's the middle of winter to have someone come to your home and eliminate that is really wonderful but it's a comfort even for an experienced mom like kim uh, even though this is my third i was having some breastfeeding issues in the beginning and to have dr kim in the privacy of my own home talk to me about it is a lot different than sitting in a doctor's office dr coleman says the idea for home visits started by accident when we were opening our practice we had met a number of parents that were expecting their new babies and we got behind on the construction and all of a sudden we had these babies and no place to see them. So Coleman and her partner started visiting new babies at home. They don't charge any extra for the visits. We have really found that this has been helpful to us too and that we feel like we have a much more personal connection with our with our patients and you know that's worth a lot. The gesture was especially appreciated by parents at the start of the recent swine flu outbreak. Boom, the week after he's born, the headline, swine flu outbreak. Oh, you're kidding me. And, and it did cross my mind. I thought, I have to take him to the doctor's office. And she has an impeccable office. I know it's very clean. When she offered the home visit, it was such a relief. I thought, well, I don't have to expose him to any germs at all. So how are baby Alex and the rest of the family doing? He's wonderful. He's really a good baby. Just really having a lot of fun with them. And, you know, I'll sleep someday. <laughs> one of these days. Yeah, one of these days. Now, our thanks to Kim for allowing us to tag along on her visit. Now, the newborn home visits are so popular, Dr. Coleman's practice recently hired two nurses specifically trained to newborn medicine help expand the program. You know, we miss Kim, but it's obvious she's doing great yeah. and the mm -hmm. baby is just gorgeous. Oh, we miss Just her. that sleep thing still to yeah. figure out. New baby. Comes babies. with it, doesn't it? That's it right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dr. George. Here's a look now at what we're working on for tomorrow night at 11.